Please, Kim, don't push me away. I miss her. Like you cannot believe. It's so best to just wish we could hold each other and cry together instead of separately. I keep seeing so many days in my head. When you first told me that we were pregnant, at the hospital when I watched you give birth, her first call and step and the way she held up her spoon in a triumphant and done. But there is one night in my head that keeps coming back to me. I don't know why. It's so strange how smells and sounds come to your mind first. I think Isabella was about one and a half or so. It was fall. I remember it was fall right before Halloween. Because some of our neighbors were burning leaves. I like that smell. Poor little Bella cried all night because she had that terrible, miserable cold. She couldn't breathe. All the stuff that she couldn't breathe and you just about had it. You were so tired, nothing had worked. She was fighting, taking her medicine, but she just wouldn't stop crying all day. Not even Boo Boo could make her feel better. But I told you I'd stay up with her. And you fell asleep on the couch almost immediately. God, I'm so grateful for that night. I talked to her. And played with her. And cooed at her. And rocked her. Finally, in the morning, right before dawn, she fell asleep. I was still holding her when you woke up. She looked so peaceful. I felt really good, like I had done something. You put your feet on my lap. We didn't say anything, you just smiled at me and kissed me. Your feet was so warm. Both of us were looking at Isabella, and you said... You said, you were a wonderful father. <laughs>